Now listen, Peter Beasley, because yeah. he's been in all this bother, he sent me a message. Right. Um, I suppose, to be honest with you, it's a bit of an explanation right. as to what's been going okay, on. Okay, that's, that's good. It's good that he's got this platform. So I feel address obliged address the to, uh, to read it out, really. Fair enough, go Here for goes. it. But we're going to read it out, or is it a recording that he sent Oh, it's a recording <laughs> that he's, he sent me. Yeah. Um, mm. Well, the, um, as you might know, Pete, uh, um, you have been in trouble this week over bullying like, the young footballers at Newcastle. So I was, uh, um, so I was telling you, this is a bit out of to say. Well, you might know Pete has been in trouble <laughs> this week over bullying young footballers. So I was surprised yeah. when I got one a message for him. So I'll play it for you, shall I? Shall I? Yeah. Right, Neil. You know, I got into a bit of trouble at work, like, you know, and uh, I started shouting at one of the following, one of the young lads, calling him a dirty following, but it was a really bad day for me, and the lad had been giving me, like, a load of, load of lip like them that week, so uh, I suppose I should ex explain, really, you know, it's so, anyway, the, the day before I couldn't sleep, you know, I got a, a banging in the loft from the Albanian, fell the next door, like, yeah. Take a constant tap, tap, tap. <laughs> like. <laughs> bit like a. I mean, like a tool used in carpet laying, you know, but who lays carpet in, in a loft in the middle of the night, you know? It's certainly not a UK thing. <laughs> I don't know, um, uh, one he's got someone uh, like hostage, you know, like an hostage in his roof fight, so, you know, I, I noticed that the usual bloke in the NP baddage garage hadn't been there for a few weeks, like, so, that's a worry, that, you know, he would always set aside an egg sandwich for the wife, and, you know, in case he needed a, a late night egg hit, you know. So, you know, I, um, like I got up about five because of the tap, 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 and, you know, and they put me slippers and dressing gown and went downstairs, and, you know, I put a bowl of oh, so simple golden syrup flavor in the microwave, you know, in order to take two minutes, and wish it were a, a longer, really, because I enjoy watching the bowl, you know, go Round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> anyway, and I, uh, when the ping noise happened, you know, I reached in to get the ball out, but it was red hot, like, and I dropped a whole lot on the floor. Like, I, 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 there was oh, so simple, like anywhere, you know, all over the laminate, up the front of the cabinet, and the ball had broke. <laughs> Now, I'm cleaning up the mess, like, you know, me bucket, not that. When I hear the wife come downstairs and, like, I shit myself because I've broken the favourite ball. It's the uh, white one that, like, me son got a years ago, you know, saying, best mum in town. And you never uh, got, you never there, you got me a best dad one, you know. He's, he said they didn't sell them, but I think that they must have just sold out because I've seen the dad ones all over the town, you know. Well, I picked up the pieces of blood. I'm just going to stop this recording there, Andy. Um, just press pause there, have I you? Press pause, yeah. Uh -huh. um, it's pretty long this, so you will need to tolerate it. Um, absolutely. Sorry, it's pretty long this, yeah. yeah. All right. Keep, keep, press po play. Okay. Well, I quickly like, picked up the pieces of the wall and wrapped them in newspapers from last night's pre them and chips and popped them in the rain like any machine and a right mardy look on her face. <laughs> what was that for a noise I heard just after the microwave ping? Sounded like something smashing. Why have you got me mop out without permission? Well, like, I think on, I think on me feet and I told her I dropped me cup of tea and explained that I'm really sorry, you know. 
Sorry for using them up without permission. Sorry for the mess. And sorry for breaking the ball. My she looked at me like you know I was an advert, then walked back upstairs and did a couple of boiled eggs and left them outside the door. Then Nathan Love has shouted from outside to the door, but she never replied. Dog dead. Well, as soon as I got to work at the training ground, I said to this young foreign lad, nipping her off to town and get my replacement breast mum in tune doll. I showed him which one it was using Google Images. Like. So I said he could treat himself to a chicken wrap, you know. So go on, like. I know a chicken wrap, man, you know, especially if the lettuce is nice and crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. Anyway, like, like, he came back about now or later, but sure enough, he got the ball, but it was the wrong size, you know. He got soap ball rather than the cereal size, so, well, knowing that the wife would, like, lump me, lump me totally lump me without hesitation, which he has been doing a lot since, since she rejected the Lord Baby Jesus, I lost me rag and I gave this father and lad a slap. No, now he's gone to the authorities and now I'm making deep shit. You know, so think if only I hadn't been woken up by the banging in the loft, everything would be a lot different. You know, if you knew my wife, you might understand, but you don't, so I guess I'm on my own here. Jesus said, you know, don't judge him until you've walked in his shoes or in your, you know. Bloody hell, don't tell me why I mentioned Jesus. You it's fucking it, I blow up at the point. <laughs> anyway, no, my wife wants a mushroom omelette, so I'd, uh, I'd better be on my way anyway. Oh, Peter. So there's... Poor Peter. Yeah, so he'd had a really bad day. I don't know whether that's mitigation for him, you know. Well, I, I can't condone that kind of thing. It's difficult, isn't it? I mean, it? if he worked at a call centre and he'd gone in and just lamped them yeah. on day one, that would have been all right, but, but you know... Yeah, not, I mean... Not when there's a racial element to it as well. You, you can't be doing that. I mean, it's truth what he says, like, you know, don't judge someone until you've walked in their shoes, but I suppose... So that's kind of something Jesus would have said, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we You know, will. we don't know what's been going on, do we? So we will. We'll see we what will. happens.